Was Mary really ever a virgin? Let's find out. Have you ever found it difficult to respond when someone questions Mary's perpetual virginity? Maybe you've heard objections like, didn't Mary and Joseph have other kids? Or doesn't the Bible mention Jesus' brothers and sisters? These questions can make it tough to explain the Catholic belief in Mary's lifelong virginity. But today, we bring you the top five Bible verses to defend Mary's perpetual virginity. Let's start with Luke chapter 1 verse 34 where Mary says to the angel, How will this be since I am a virgin? Think about this. When angel Gabriel visits Mary, she is already engaged to Joseph. So why would she ask such a question if she expected a normal married life? Instead, Mary's response indicates a commitment or possibly a vow to virginity even within marriage. It's like she's saying, this can't be because I vowed to remain a virgin. This verse is our first clue that Mary intended to remain a virgin forever. Okay, let's move to the second one. Now Matthew chapter 1 verse 25 is actually a verse that some people use to disprove Mary's perpetual virginity. The phrase he knew her not until she had borne a son initially seems to provide information about her state only till the time of Jesus' birth but not afterwards. She might have been a virgin when she was born, but that might have changed later. But if you compare the way other verses use the word until, it doesn't imply change. For example, when Jesus says in Matthew chapter 28 verse 20, I am with you until the end of the age. It doesn't mean he leaves us after that, right? Or like in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 25, which says, for he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. This doesn't mean that Jesus will stop reigning after he's defeated all his enemies. So the word until doesn't mean that she was no longer a virgin after Jesus' birth. Let's look at the next one. Now, like we mentioned in the beginning, one of the main verses that seems to debunk the notion of Mary's perpetual virginity is from Matthew chapter 13 verse 55, which refers to Jesus' brethren or brothers in some translations. But this comes from reading the text only in the modern English translations. If you look at the original Greek, it uses the word Adelphoi, which actually means a lot more than just biological siblings. In fact, the word just meant a male relative like a brother, stepbrother, nephew, cousin or even uncle. For example, in Acts chapter 1 verse 15, it says Peter stood up and addressed the 120 brethren or Adelphon. It obviously doesn't mean that Peter had 120 siblings, right? So it doesn't mean that the brethren mentioned earlier were Jesus' biological siblings either. Another verse that is sometimes used to show that Jesus was one among many siblings is Luke chapter 2 verse 7 which describes Jesus as Mary's firstborn. This seems to imply that there were others after him. But the word in the Greek prototokon is more like a title, the firstborn, and not really describing the order of birth. For example, Israel is described as God's firstborn son among the nations. The title is also used in many New Testament passages like in Romans 8 verse 29, which says, For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Again, this refers to Jesus' primacy as firstborn among his spiritual and not biological brethren. So firstborn is just a title and not evidence that Mary had other children. Finally, we have John chapter 19 verse 26 to 27 where Jesus from the cross says to John, Behold your mother. If Mary had other children, Jewish custom would have them care for her, not John. But in trusting Mary to John, it implies she has no other children. This verse might be subtle, but it's a big indicator that Mary was a perpetual virgin and Jesus was her only son. So let's quickly recap. Luke chapter 1 verse 34, Mary's question shows a commitment to virginity. Matthew chapter 1 verse 25, until doesn't imply change, she remained a virgin. Matthew chapter 13 verse 55, brethren could mean any male relative and not just biological brother. Luke chapter 2 verse 7, firstborn doesn't imply more children. And lastly, John chapter 19 verse 26 to 27, Jesus entrusting Mary to John shows she had no other children. So the next time someone asks you about Mary's perpetual virginity, don't forget these five important verses. And if you want to learn more about this Catholic teaching, you can check out one of our earlier videos by clicking on the card. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay updated with our channel. Until then, 
stay unapologetically Catholic.